Okay guys, welcome to the video where I'm going to break down a live solo that Billy Joel played about 10 years ago in Tokyo. I heard it and I couldn't believe how incredible some of the licks were that he was playing. I've never heard him do this in any of his albums, these type of movements. And so I thought to myself, I'm going to learn it for my own personal development. I learned it by ear, it took me over 10 hours. And then I thought, you know what, I'm going to record a video on YouTube for all my people out there to see if you guys could also learn something from this. Stick around, here's the clip live from Tokyo about 10 years ago so that you know what we're after. And then um, I'll teach it to you. Okay, so that's how the solo sounds. I'm gonna break it down here today for you guys. And the cool thing is that if you're a beginner or intermediate player and you feel like you're not gonna be able to get all of this down because it is a hard solo, the cool thing is you can just take one section and and apply that to you you know your songs. Learn something, one small little morsel here, kind of have it in your repertoire. Let me play the solo for you guys. I'm just calibrating. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I almost derailed, kind of did. Anyways, let's jump into things. I'm really excited to show you guys how this all goes. Okay, so part one of eight is going to be this movement. <laughs> okay, so I'll go slowly. Fingering is gonna matter for every single one of these eight sections. Before we do that, let me just kind of show you what the left hand is doing. It's kind of walking from a G to an F to an E, to an E flat, okay? That's all I want you to work on. The chords, if you were not playing the solo, like if you were in the band, the chords are a G minor, B flat over F, okay? So you can play it like this. It's good to know the context of these chords. Then it's a C over E, and then an E flat. You can add two there if you want, okay? For us today, like I already mentioned, it's just gonna be single notes, so. Single notes G, F, E, and E flat. Okay, so the first part here. Okay, so I'll show you how the left hand lines up with the right hand, which is uh, something that's really important to master. Let's get the fingering down. I just realized that my GoPro here where I'm talking to you is going to die. So when it dies, I'll put another screen up. You won't get to see me talking, but we'll continue the tutorial. So the notes, the first four notes that you got to get down, it's a G... B flat, C, and then your four finger right here, okay? On the C sharp, one, two, three, four, thumb under, and then you're gonna use the rest of your fingers on these notes. Okay, so it's all one very swift movement as you heard when Billy Joel played it and when I try to play it. <laughs> okay, so we have really slowly, pay attention to my fingering, if you cannot master fingering, you will not get this down. And remember, if this is already too difficult for you, stick around for some of the other sections because you might be able to just get one of the licks down and you might be able to study it and figure out why it works, put it into your music and then have it in your repertoire, okay? You don't have to get the whole solo down. This is a challenging solo, but I know you're gonna get something through it. Make sure to give me a like, guys. Give me a like if you're already like pumped about this tutorial. It helps my channel out. Make sure to subscribe also. So first section, again, one more time. So we have left hand will hit the G, then you start. And then when you get to this C here, you're gonna go to your F down here, so slowly. Left hand starts it. Okay, so this is a really hard part to start the solo off because it's going pretty fast. You know, you're kind of coming from.
okay? So you see that. What I've done for you guys also is there's a link to the Billy Joel solo, and I've slowed it down to 50% so that you could learn to play along with Billy Joel at 50%. So there's a link for you guys that I created. That's gonna be really helpful. Okay, so that's the first part. So the way that I practiced this was very slowly. Okay. Some of these movements, guys, like... Like there, th th those movements, I, I played it super sloppy there because I was going fast. But those movements, I practiced, you know, for hours. So if, if you really want to get this down and you're dedicated, uh, get ready to spend quite a bit of time on this. Okay, so let's move on to the second part of the solo. So, okay, so you know how you're hitting the F down here and you're ending your first run here and then you're going to go... Okay, you're gonna go to that that D, G, uh, B flat, and G. So it's a G minor chord. So, okay. Now here's the the second uh, part of things. Okay, so you have. Okay, so slowly. Notice what my two fingers doing here. So I have. I'm kind of sliding from the C sharp to D. Okay, it's very important in this solo that there's a distinction between these two notes kind of having a separate feel to them, separate feel versus, okay, we're gonna have some of these movements where you're doing grace notes. People call them smash notes, you know, where you're kind of sliding or slide notes, but they're really called grace notes, okay? So there's a distinction between those. So pay attention to when I'm, you know, sliding, when I'm gracing the note, and then when I'm making it a, you know, maybe more of like an eighth note. Right there, okay? So there's, there's a slide, okay? So we're going from slowly, and then watch my three finger. Okay, so let me play to where we're at so far. Okay, so then we're going to go back to the G in the left hand to start that loop over again, and then the right hand's going to do. Okay, so it's going to go two finger, thumb on C, three finger, and then thumb. So the thumb's kind of doing this little dance. Watch my thumb. I know it's kind of hard to see from the overhead, but thumb, three finger, thumb. You got to get that down. And that is going to set you up for a two finger on F up here. A three finger on the F sharp. And then I went thumb under on G. The reason we're going thumb under on G is because that's gonna set up our fingers over here. Good, you can see it, it's at the top of my camera. It's gonna set up our fingers over here to do that movement, okay? So very slowly, one more time. So we're coming from You almost can't help but do the nasty faces. <laughs> okay, so let's figure out when this G comes in, okay? So. Okay, the G comes in when you hit the F up here as part of this movement. Okay? So if you'd like, you can practice, once you get up to this part, you can practice making that transition by doing this. Watch, you play the whole thing. watch just practice getting to there so you practice the whole thing and just practice that anchor point when the hands come in together and then let me show you how the rest of that phrase goes and then we'll move into into that okay so okay that's where we're at so far in the tutorial 
like I've mentioned already, guys, I, I, I'm going to continue showing you uh, the rest of the solo here. But like I mentioned, give me a like. If you're getting something from this video, it helps me out on YouTube tons. I want this video to hit every piano player. So give me a like. Give me a share. Make sure to subscribe. I got lots of videos. And if you're loving my teaching style, if you're you're ready to like learn how I'm able to play my music so full with like left hand rhythms and stuff like that, I want you to go up here to check out my website. I have free and paid content. The paid content is basically going to give you all my secrets. So uh, let's continue here. We're we're here, and then we're gonna go. Okay. So here's the next part of the solo. You got to be able to master this. This is this is. This is a, a, one of my first licks that I, I learned. Okay, so notice how my hand is doing that. You got to master that because that's part of, uh, you know, this solo. So we're coming off this part. Okay, so let's learn that. So you go to the F when you start this lick, so. And so the way that this is gonna go, it's gonna go, let me show you the notes here. Okay, so you have these notes here. Pay attention to fingering. My pinky is free, which means my three finger is here, four finger, two, and thumb is here. If your fingers are not strong enough to be able to do that, you're gonna have to practice. Like I already mentioned, with my paid content, I do have a finger strength and accuracy course, among many other things. So that would help out tremendously if you can't do this. But the way it's gonna go, so notice how I kind of pause on the C and then I go, I do four notes fast from top to bottom, here, 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 here. So you kind of hit the C, you pause, and you're coming from top down. So it'll be four, three, two, one, after hitting the C, doom. Okay, so practice that. So from the beginning, Okay, that's where we're at. Hopefully you're learning something amazing. Let's keep going. Okay, so the next anchor point with the E here is this little movement. So you're gonna have your two finger, your three finger, and your five finger. And you're gonna grace, remember we talked about the distinction of a grace note, how the grace notes are nice and quick. So we're gonna grace from here to these two notes. Okay, so, okay, you can barely see them. It's at the edge. I'll, I'm gonna name it so it's a, two finger on C sharp, a three finger on D, and then a five finger on G. Okay, so you're gonna grace, and then you're gonna open up your thumb to a C and a G, so you go. Notice that there's three hits here, or one, actually two hits. So one, two. On the second hit, that's when your left hand goes to the E. And then it goes, oh, this is such a sweet movement. Okay, here we go. So this is where we're at so far in the uh, tutorial. Oh, you know what? Um, you know how I said to hit with the left hand here? It actually doesn't hit together. It goes... Notice how the left hand comes right after it. Okay, so just a little switch up there. Okay, so let me show you that little part. So you're coming from, and then, so do you remember how we already kind of did this movement where you go C sharp, C, B flat, and G? Remember we just did that right there. Well, you're gonna do it again, so you're coming here. Now notice fingering, very important. Notice how my three fingers ready to grace from the C to the C, C sharp to the C. So I go, so. And you gotta get that in too, okay? So I'm doing an F sharp and a G, a F sharp and A, G and B flat. Notice fingering, it's gonna be a two and four, a three and five, so you're going Nice and slow. Okay, let me show you where we're at in the tutorial. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so notice when we, we go to the E flat, when we go to this right here, I'm gonna show you that. Okay, so we're coming from. Now here's the new stuff. We have a thumb that hits a D and then when you hit the C sharpened E here, you hit the left hand at the same time. So you go. Okay, so master that. We're almost done. This is when the solo gets absolutely nutty. And this, in my opinion, is the hardest part. Okay, so master getting up to this point. That's going to be helpful because that's where the, it's going to loop over again. So one more time, let me show you where we're at in the tutorial. That's where we're at. Okay, so we're going here. Notice my fingering again in the right hand is exactly how we did this, which was a two and four finger and three and five. So same exact here. So you have the C sharp again and the E with your two and four, and then your three and five, and then you hit a thumb on C, and then your two and four are gonna go from B flat, C sharp, and you're going to grace down. Okay, so you gotta really track with me here. Don't worry, I'll help you line up the right hand, but the right, I'm sorry, the left hand with the right hand. The right hand here gets crazy. So we're coming from. Okay, you see how that works? Coming down there, and then we go. I'm pretty sure the left hand lines up here with the right hand. Let me make sure, so. Yeah, it lines up right there. Okay, so you're coming from here. Here we go, let's just do the right hand. G, and then you're gonna go two and four here, three and five here. Fingering is incredibly important. I cannot believe the speed that Billy Joel played this at because this movement is so hard to do fast. Okay, so from here. Okay, so. Okay, we just left off there, so you go here. Now watch my thumb, it goes to F, and then you hit a F sharp and an A, with your two and four again. And then you have your three and five here. Okay, then it goes there. Okay, so notice what I did. The thumb, two finger, and four finger are gonna come over here and take care of those guys. And then you go there. Okay, so let's get that down. So we're coming from. I'm gonna go one more time slowly on that part. Playing this up to speed is incredibly difficult. I already mentioned it. I would rather do licks like that, but Billy Joel. Oh my gosh, my fingers aren't working now. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Then we go after this. Here's the, the last lick that you got to get down and then we're done with the video. Notice where my left hand is. It's on a G. Then we're gonna do this, okay? So we end the lick here and then we go. So we end here and then we go. It's really helpful to sing some of this. Remember, I learned all of this by ear. It took me, I already mentioned, over 10 hours to listen to it, to practice it, to get it down. It was it was really tiring. But what I was gonna say about that is it's really helpful if you're able to listen to something and then sing it really quickly. And then once you can sing it, you have it in your head and then you can put it into your hands. So practice doing that with me here. So you have do, 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 do. So if you hear in music, you go da, 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 dum. So da, 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 dum. Okay, so coming from 
Okay, when you hit the C sharp here, you go to an F. So, da 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 da. Okay, then you're gonna go to an E here, and you're gonna hold on to it. Okay, we're almost done. You go. Okay, so notice the lineup of of my right hand and left hand. Okay, so I'm going. Watch my right hand, and then my left hand hits. You gotta master that because that will get everything in line with the solo. So one more time. Okay, so there's that. So notice what I did. My little dog is dreaming. Benny, Benny, it's okay, buddy. Hey, Ben, Ben. Hey, hey, okay. No more dreaming. I'm trying to record a YouTube video. <laughs> Benny's so cute. Okay, so we're going here. So notice what I did. It's a C uh, first inversion in the right hand, but notice that I'm gracing from the E flat and F sharp to an E and F. So this really gives the music a lot of soul, a lot of vibe, a lot of feel. Okay, so we have. Now watch what the right hand's gonna do. Okay, so I go. So I'm walking slowly down, two finger, one, well, thumb and two finger are taking care of these, these perfect thirds. Okay, so you have that. So master that, so you'll be coming from. And then you go just right hand, no more left hand. So you go three finger and thumb, thumb and three finger. And you kind of do a grace note again down to here. So you go ba da da dum so. Okay, so let me show you that part. So come with your three finger then it slides down to an a two one let me make sure I'm doing that right yeah to a thumb there so three finger slides down to the a two finger on that note one finger on that note and then two finger over to the D and you end like that do do Two finger over here is really helpful. And then you end on the F and then you walk it down. F chord to an E flat seven. Yeah, E flat major seven with an add two kind of. And then you go B flat over D and then to an F. And then you start the song. And then you're done with the solo. Everyone's going nuts. You're so pumped that you got the solo down because man the speed Billy Joel played that at, at every time I would finish that solo I would just be so proud of myself the dude is a master okay let me do a complete overview very slowly for you guys with all the lineup of things and then we'll, we'll be done with the video I hope you guys have enjoyed it make sure to subscribe like the video please I already asked you please like it it helps me out okay here we go guys so we're coming from I'm gonna try to do it all slowly Lower is harder. at that guys i will catch you in another video and um yeah that's all i want to say i'll see you around okay you made it to the end one in every four of my viewers clicks right there to learn how to play like me as always guys don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos you can click on my beautiful face right there if you'd like and 